Pertussis, also called whooping cough, is on the rise, and here's what you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones. Pertussis is a highly contagious respiratory disease that can affect all age groups. First, consider talking to your healthcare provider about keeping CDC-recommended vaccinations up to date. There are FDA-approved vaccines to prevent pertussis in babies, toddlers, children, adolescents, and adults. There are also vaccines for pregnant individuals during their third trimester in order to prevent pertussis in infants younger than two months of age. And while the vaccines work well, protection does fade over time. And even if you get sick from pertussis, if you've been vaccinated in the past, you probably won't get as sick as someone who's never had the vaccine before. Second, know the symptoms. Whooping cough may begin like a common cold, but unlike the common cold, the cough slowly becomes more severe. And eventually, the person may experience bouts of rapid coughing, followed by a whooping sound that gives the disease its common name as they try to inhale. It's important to pay attention to babies and young children because they may not cough and they may have difficulty breathing instead. If you think you or your loved one is sick with whooping cough, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider because treating whooping cough early with antibiotics may make the disease less severe. Finally, practicing good hygiene helps prevent the spread of bacteria and viruses that can cause many respiratory illnesses, including the bacterium that causes whooping cough. So we all need to remember to wash our hands, cover our coughs and sneezes, and clean frequently touched surfaces. Thanks for watching.